1989's The Evil Below is a pretty sort of unknown movie. A very sort of interesting and unknown movie from 1989. From the year, which was the era of the, may, the mainly underwater movies. Like the six, had the six underwater movies that from that year. And obviously they they have their own sort of differences in this one. With Evil Below, it it's... With this, it's more to do with finding treasure, um, deep sea excavation, money, gangsters, uh, loan shark. That's that sort of thing. And there is, obviously, as it's a horror season, it has a horror element in this. However, it's so it's more the horror. What this sort of thing is when this it's it's a horror movie. However, it's not really. It's sort of it plays on it, but it doesn't. Because it's made like a like an sort of like a semi action thriller, very much. So that that's what we're getting at. But it has this supernatural thing force thrown in or something like looking for looking for some cursed treasure or something in above it like an old shipwreck down in the seas of Gibraltar. And it's it is it's not really thought out though. It's not you know, the story itself is not really Planned out the much itself goes it's quite though I could say it's quite boring actually to be honest. It sort of falls flat slightly afterwards and I don't know. Um obviously for casting reasons we've got two main characters of course with Brian Crawford who plays uh, Max Cash, who is a basically just a just a bud driver very much and obviously he obviously he has to assist this woman who's played who's called Sarah Linston who's played by June Chadwick that name will ring a bell and you know and obviously they form this partnership together and to get this treasure and obviously obviously in doing so they encounter the um bunch of gangsters who are interested in this tre treasure they obviously try you know how to kill them how to get what they want and stuff happens obviously now obviously uh, the two characters, Ray Crawford and Chadwick, well, to be honest, it's not, it's, well, the presence is, the screen presence is good, but the act, the sort of, uh, the acting throughout is a bit, yeah, it's a bit unsure, really, but, it's not, it's not, it's not to scratch, but, yeah, you can see where I'm going with this, you know, it's not to scratch, however, it's just how it is. Uh, music itself, Quite boring, to be honest. It's not doesn't really do anything with the story itself. Uh, the filming locations in Gibraltar are actually quite nice. I mean, they, they're, it's all linked with Gibraltar, actually, in the, in the film there. Nice to see it. Well, it's nice seeing a couple of landscapes around his hand. It's an okay place. And I think that's about it, really, you know, with this movie. Um, it's been released on DVD before, but no Blu-ray release. I don't think they've released on Blu-ray um, at all. You can watch on YouTube actually. There's a full version of on YouTube you can watch and just see what you think. To be honest, it's a toss it's it's a little bit of a unwatchable or toss up I don't I don't know, to be honest, but it's just it's just there for a reason. It's one of those six six movies that are based on underwater that are underwater themed from Matin A nine. And it fits in that canon. And I don't know, just See what you think. Just see what you think. And that is the end of the review. And I will see you for the finale of Series 6. And I'll see you for that video. Thank you very much.